What's going on YouTube? For everyone goes here bringing you another awesome video. I'm going to be reviewing and discussing a little bit of Fate Stay Night Zero. And I want to thank you guys for voting for this show. And I'm going to be talking about it for a little bit. And just giving you my opinions and my thoughts on the show. And you're probably wondering why am I talking about this instead of not the first season. I didn't really think about it at the time. I wanted to get something out there as fast as I could for you guys because I expected to get the best content out there for you guys. And as I always deliver, I promise to keep my word on what I deliver. So anyway, um, second season of Fate Stay Night. Well, second season of Fate. So oh, this is the second season of Fate Stay. Well, I'm hoping that's the right show. I'm probably wrong. But if I'm wrong, please leave in the comments below what the actual title of the, of the series is. I might have forgotten. I apologize. Anyway, so let's get back to the topic here. The second season of this show, in my opinion, was great. Uh, I remember watching the first season, and I, at the time, didn't really want to watch it. Sorry about that, guys. My screen's going a little black there. There we go. Anyway, so uh, the first season that I watched was fantastic. I, at one point, didn't even want to watch the first season of this show because I didn't feel that interested in watching it. But when my brother told me about it and he explained it to me more in detail how it all works out, it's uh it was pretty cool i sat down watched all the episodes that were long which is great i like animes that are long and so he introduced me to the second season of this um pretty much fate stay night unlimited blade works comes off as to the second season of the first one obviously and it's pretty much the descendants of those that uh like the father of ren and shira from the past holy grail war which both have passed away in this season um, just seeing how the story ended up on here, seeing how the characters and the development of all the show and this entire show was fantastic, seeing new heroes, seeing old ones, and just seeing how great this show was, honestly, in my opinion, was great. Uh, I really didn't expect a lot of what I saw in this show, and nor did I expect a lot of the betrayals and secrecy in this show, but if you're into that intensity and watching something exciting like that, then I recommend you. 100% to watch this show. Uh, for those that haven't seen this show, I recommend you go check out uh, on Netflix or on Crunchyroll. They both have them there. This one here is on Netflix. It's on its dub, obviously, for those that want to see it in English. And if you guys want to see it in sub or in Japanese, you could do it both on Netflix or uh, go to Crunchyroll, which is only on sub, obviously. And uh, it, it's a fantastic show, guys. Honestly, just seeing the, 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 the character developments on that show, seeing the intense uh, story that they put into it was great. Um, very in-depth story. Like I said, I haven't really gotten depth into this show. I haven't really gotten my fangs into it very well and really sat there and mesmerized all the names and characters and places and stuff like that. I will eventually, so please do duly note it on that. Um, but anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed my discussion of this show. It's a very short and sweet video. Um, hopefully you guys leave a thumbs up on this video. And as always, have an amazing rest of the weekend. Hopefully, you guys have an awesome week after. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, like I said before, in the beginning or more or less towards the end of this video, leave a thumbs up and I will be making another video of this. So as I said before, have an amazing rest of the weekend and the rest of the week.